What's up, YouTube fam? Back in uh, Louisiana for a few days. Uh, got a Ethan's birthday party it's coming up, so I wanted to be in town for that. Don't want to miss that? Got the famous Aylwood spoon, and look what came in the mail today from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Is a uh, Gator hot sauce. Now, my friend Thomas Elwood Bailey told me about this. And uh, it's signed with Gator. This is supposed to be the extra, extra hot one. It's got uh, Pepper X in it. So, this Pepper X mash is what it says. So, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm going to see what the rave is about. He likes it. So, he says it's really kicking. So, he says it's kicking. Y'all better believe it. Boy, Tank ain't lying. He can't lying. Taint? Where will we learn that word for? All right, guys. Let's see what let's see what the fuss is about the pepper egg. Pepper egg's supposed to be. Some are claiming their claim to fame is that it's now the hottest pepper in the world. Which, incidentally, it is grown by Ed Curry, which invented the Carolina Reaper. Which, by Guinness Book, by their standards, it's the world's hottest pepper. But my understanding is there's a few others out there. The Primo's hotter. The Chocolate Bootless hotter. The Prima Tali, which was a Primo and a Fatali mix, is hotter. Um, there's, there's, but there's dispute, you know. There also some of them say that that um, the um, the some some have said that some of the big uh, uh, with Dragon's Breath, but some of the bigger Reapers are, are a lot hotter too. So. Um, what else? What? 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 Else? what else? What's another one? I'm forgetting. Trinidad Scorpion, Death Spiral, Marula Scorpion. Yeah. All right. Anyways, let's get into this, guys. I can tell you right now, it's going to be hot. How hot, you ask? Well, because I got a little bit on the tip there, and I put it on the tip of my tongue, and my tongue is sizzling. So, without further ado, and I ain't stalling because I love stuff like this. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Here's the famous Elwood pour. Okay. What's up, guys? Here we go. That's pretty warm. <laughs> uh, what's up, YouTube fam? The one time I didn't use the front-facing camera, so I couldn't see what was going on. But my phone ran out of memory. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I get a prodigious amount of videos of my kids and stuff like that. So I had to come dump some uh, videos on storage so that I could come back and give you an update of... Man, I... I must have talked for 10 minutes and only got like three minutes and something of it. So I sat there like talking to nothing for like seven minutes. <laughs> but I'm going to give you a rundown of, of the sauce and my take on it. It is hot. It is a hot sauce. I ended up peaking at about a four, maybe a five. And for right now, that's pretty, that's pretty daggum hot. Would I say it's hotter than the Reaper squeezings I have? It's hard to compare them to because they taste so different, and I get a different burn from both of them in a different way. Um, I really think the Reaper Squeezins in, in, impacts more. Um, they're both gut bombs. Make sure you got plenty of food in your in your stomach, or else it's going to cre crazy, crazy. You know, I'm, not, I'm fine now. This is about you know 30 minutes ago, but it, man, it, it just it kind of like, mm, but it went away. It subsided. I went and ate something and everything, and uh, make sure you, you, you put some stuff on your stomach before you do uh, a spoon of that. That said, it definitely is my second in line as far as my regular hot sauces for sure. Um, it's close to the Reaper Squeezes. I, I just think because I do the Reaper Squeezes is such a smaller amount because it comes out like a paste. I didn't I don't get that much. But I, the Reaper Squeezes puts me in about a four or five also. 
but on a smaller amount. Um, <clears throat> that said, um, still pretty much the hottest stuff I have is that uh, the end flat line from the Pepper Palace of all places. But it's just because they douse it so much with with extract. It's ter it's terrible. It's a terrible tasting. But it's it'll give you a kick. It's hotter than any of the tinctures or anything that I have by far. You know, you get just a little little bit of that, and it goes a long way. But it's terrible tasting. But it's hot. It is hot. Okay, guys, I just wanted to get on here and give uh, a little bit of that my reaction to it. It is hot. It, now that's there's two different ones you can get on um, uh, PuckerButtPepperCompany.com. I believe it's maybe it's not all. I, I anyways, it's it, it's Ed Curry's website. For um, but you get on there and there's two different ones, but they look identical. But you gotta get that extra extra hot one, and that's the one with the signature on it, and it's got Pepper X in it. All right, so yeah, don't be fooled. They are two different ones, and my understanding is the extra hot one is quite a bit hotter than um than the other one now they do st they haven't updated their website as far as if that is hotter than the reaper squeezes they still have on their website that the reaper squeezes is the hottest that they make they may just never have updated that i don't know but in my opinion i do i'm just really sticking with the reaper squeeze as far as um it being a little hotter not a lot hotter a little hotter but given i I, I ingest a lot smaller amount than that, but it's also a lot thicker, a lot pastier. At least mine is, and that might be the reason why mine is so hot, because mine is really thick. You see how hard it is for me to get it out of the bottle, and uh, if you're getting a bottle that's just pouring out like that stuff did, if if you condense that down and paste that down like like the Reaper Squeezins, it may be hotter than the Reaper Squeezins. I could see that happening. All right, y'all.